No, we're not moving out. We are expanding the cold rooms. Welcome along to the block. So we've been and spent an absolute fortune on flammable insulation. Hopefully not. Don't jinx it. Touch wood quickly. And timber. There we go. So basically a king span, but it's got a different brand name on it, this. Ret Tickel. Ret Recite. I don't know. You tell me. And we've got the timber to put the new framework in and then we'll insulate and uh, and floor on the top deck. We've got to remove all of this stuff off the wall. Uh, but I'm getting straight in with the carcass in this morning because then we can start to shove all this stuff back in and it can live inside while we do the rest of the work. Uh, it's already ten past two, I only just picked the camera up, but I thought I'd better do it before I start cutting wood. Then you know where we are. Anyway, I'll come back when I've cut some timber because I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> We've made considerable progress. Makes the space look quite tight though. I suppose, in essence, all of this in the centre will be gone. That's, pack that's enough space for packaging, to be fair. More than enough room. And then, two, four, six pallet spaces inside the cold rooms, so two in each room, so that gives us uh, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 pallet storage for 12 pallets at 11 degrees centigrade and then we've got one down the bottom which sits about 5, 6 degrees for hops and finings and I managed to get the steps up so once this Kingspan stuff has gone, we've got quite a wide gap between the two main beams, between the tank and the corner of the cold room so we can get stuff in and out no problem. And then I managed to reposition the stairs, I'm hoping that the pilot kit will sit at the back of the stairs. And then if we go up the stairs, no handrail, not been secured properly, be careful. Uh, I couldn't get any plywood today so I just used a couple of sheets of hardwood 18 mil in stock and dropped them down so it gives me a walkway across. Obviously we've got a duck and dive under the rafter, the, the A-beams for, uh, for the roof. But a lot of that junk that's down there, I call it junk, it's essential stuff, uh, that, a lot of that can come up here be stored, stowed away neatly and uh, we could probably bring those worktops up and then all this stuff over there the can stock well that's going to live in these cold rooms as well so that will free up space over there which means that we can store some of this like the canning the can labelling machines can go over there on a shelf and all that kind of jazz anyway we'll figure it out but making the most of the space is what it's all about and of course having this little mezzanine up here it just gives us that bit more room to put stuff that we're not using on a regular basis so we'll just back up down these steps and it's not a very good angle to take a view from is it really shall i go up into the kitchen area and maybe climb the steps a little bit here up into the office and then we'll go and turn around and have a look how things are panning out there we go I think you can get an idea now so we've really occupied all the space that we can once these cold rooms are up and running and we are going to be looking seriously uh, another unit at some point in the future maybe in the next maybe in the next five years if we can't get next door we really want next door in fact we need next door if we can't get next door we're gonna have to move there's no do to boot it but I don't want to move kind of like uh, kind of like this old building but 
and things are going to evolve and we're going to have to evolve with it but I think this is going to give us enough space for the next for the next five years on the lease so fingers crossed we can make it work eight fermenters seven cold rooms this is what it's all about kind of looks mad looking at the size of that now I never thought it it looks so imposing it really does I wish the roof was a bit higher as well we'd be able to make use of that mezzanine without having to duck every two seconds if we can get the unit next door at some point in the future then the roof height next door is probably another three or four meters maybe three meters higher two two meters higher god I'm good. no way is it four meters higher it's probably another two meters higher so we would be able to put a mezzanine in there we could just pick this up basically and shove it through the wall and that would be fine and we could utilize the space at the top of the mezzanine as well as have those massive cold rooms they do look good though i must admit i'm a big fan of the uh the bodged up cold rooms the macgyver cold rooms i suppose you could call them anyway folks it's half past six on a Friday night. I think it's time for me to take flight. Oh, look at that little bit of a poem for you there. <laughs> I'm going to clear off. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you on the next vlog. Oh, I'm ready for a beer. Why don't you get yourself one?